Sire National Metallurgical Laboratory at Jamshedpur, India developed a portable giant magneto impedance based sensing device, MAGSIS 4 NDE application. In thermal power plants and petrochemical industries, sensors and transducers are employed in structural health monitoring of pipeline welds and reactor components for their successful operation. The journey of MAGSIS traverses through the preparation of amorphous magnetic wires to development of a sensing device which was applied to service exposed steel components. Preparation of amorphous wires includes arc melting of ferromagnetic elements and metalloids to get master alloy ingot. The master alloy is taken in quartz crucible which is placed inside the induction coil and placed at the periphery of the rotating drum filled with water. The crucible is placed with its nozzle at a desired height from the water level. For the preparation of the amorphous wire, several process parameters like rotating drum speed, ejection temperature, ejection gas pressure and height of crucible orifice from water level has to be adjusted. By optimizing these process parameters, glassy magnetic microwires are obtained by this in-water quenching technique. The giant magneto impedance effect is the relative change in impedance of the microwire in the presence of a magnetic field under an applied AC current. The prepared amorphous microwires exhibits giant magneto impedance effect is used as a sensor core in MAGSIS. Using the prepared microwires, the development of MAGSIS went through series of modifications. MAGSIS is portable, lightweight and battery operated, can be used for remote places. In MAGSIS probe is brought close to a test specimen, the display voltage increases relative to the magnetic field strength of ferromagnetic phases in the test specimen. MAGSIS can be used in petrochemical industries for structural health monitoring of ideal and defective pipeline welds. In the first weldment the pipeline steel has root and filler material as 304 SS which is non-magnetic and a desirable case of weld for strength equivalent to base material. In this case the device MAGSIS shows fairly low senior output. However, in the second and third weldment a high sensor output is observed due to the presence of ferromagnetic carbon steel as root material over which 304 SS is present. CSIR, NML has been working jointly with the Research and Development Center of Indian Oil Corporation Limited, IOCL, for the development MAGSIS for detection of carbonization in an austenitic steel component. During service exposure, the non-magnetic steel component becomes magnetic which ultimately leads to failure. In the case of austenitic stainless steel, the sensing device MAGSIS does not show any sensor output indicating its non-magnetic nature. However, in the case of a service exposed steel component made from the same steel shows high sensor output indicating that carbonization has induced changes in the microstructure of the component and the component becomes magnetic during plant operation. The research team from National Metallurgical Laboratory carried out on-site detection of carbonization in petrochemical industry using the GMI-based sensing device. <laughs>